James O'Rourke, also known as Porky, is considered the most dangerous and violent inmate within the Scottish prison system. But what led him to become this way? James O'Rourke was brought up in Airdrie on the outskirts of Glasgow in the Craig Nook area, not to be confused with Craig Nook Wishaw. He had been in jail as a young offender a couple of times. It was a relatively small area and James at the age of 22 would get himself involved in a local dispute between two rival gangs. James's gang was led by two brothers of the Greys, William and Matthew. The other faction was allegedly led by a man called Neil Kearney. It's not known if the fallout was over low-level drug dealing or one isolated incident, but in the early 1990s there was a number of violent incidents between both rival gangs that weren't reported to the police. Such examples of the unreported incidents of violence between the two rival mobs was an alleged assault that occurred on Willow Street on April 9th, 1992. A friend of Neil Kearney, called Brian Tardetti, was standing by the side of a local shop. William Gray and Matthew Gray had driven up to see him. Matthew Gray got out of the car with a baseball bat and attacked Tardetti. He broke Brian Tardetti's kneecap during the incident. When the police spoke to him at the hospital, Brian Tardetti had said he'd fallen over to do the damage to his knee and made no further complaint. The next spate of violence between the two gangs happened on April 20th, just 11 days later. A massive disturbance that involved at least seven men took place during the day on a Craig Nook street. Neil Kearney was allegedly looking for revenge for what happened to Brian Tardetti. The violent brawl left Neil Kearney, his brother Henry Kearney and William McCauley needing hospital treatment. Neil Kearney and William McCauley were treated for serious head injuries. The both men again were questioned by police and they both gave no statements and discharged themselves from the hospital. The next month, on May the 16th, it's alleged William Gray, known as Big Will, allegedly threatened to kill Neil Kearney by pulling out a shotgun to him. These people all stayed very close to each other, and this apparently happened in front of a crowd who had made their way to attack the Greys. William Gray needed to arm himself at this point, as his brother's car and his house was being attacked constantly by associates of Neil Kearney. On the 24th of the same month, it's alleged James O'Rourke had assaulted Brian Tardetti. O'Rourke headed to William Gray's house after the incident. Gray's house was filled with his friends and close associates such as the Donahue's, Terence and Stephen and David Armstrong, and joined now by the young vicious O'Rourke, who William Gray had massive influence over apparently. After the attack on Tardetti by James O'Rourke, Neil Kearney, Brian Tardetti, Kevin McGrath and Alan Watt had went looking for Porky around midnight at William Gray's house. Kearney was armed with a pickaxe handle and a chain. They started to smash up the car in the driveway of the house. The five men that were at Big Will's house and his wife Marie went out to the garden. Marie confronted Kearney and managed to wrestle the pickaxe handle off him. And during the struggle, while Kearney was swinging the chain at the five men, James O'Rourke and the Donahues, along with Armstrong, attacked Neil Kearney with a log and paving slabs out the garden. When Neil Kearney fell to the ground during the attack, he was killed by being hit several times on the head with concrete slabs. James O'Rourke and William Gray were convicted of Neil Kearney's murder and ordered to serve 17 years. The others involved were given the lesser charge of culpable homicide and assault. There are some who say that there was a miscarriage of justice during the trial and that William Gray never touched Neil Kearney at all during the murder. It's said even statements were given by O'Rourke and Donahue to attest to this fact, but the statements were apparently unsigned so didn't count in court. James Porky O'Rourke would now go on to live a ruthless life behind the prison walls in the toughest jails in Scotland and forge his reputation as one of Scotland's most dangerous prison inmates. Porky has been in prison from 1992, 31 years. He is considered so dangerous he cannot be housed with other prisoners, but it wasn't always the case. In 1997 he was given another 7 years for two assaults when he took a prison officer and a nurse hostage with an improvised razor at Glenoco. He then took a cellmate hostage at the same prison in 2002 who got him another 8 years for a violent and prolonged assault and torture.
Porky got four years for yet another series assault on a member of prison staff in 2004. He then added another eight years to his jail time in 2005 when he was being escorted to the yard at HMP Kilmarnock. He stabbed the screw escorting him and then stabbed a senior prison official who was present during him being escorted. Porky was segregated from contact with other prisoners. He slowly built up trust and in 2019 he attempted to murder fellow killer and lifer Thomas Peacock at the jail's gym by slitting his throat from behind. Peacock from Barhead was jailed for killing Douglas Lambie in 2005. Him and his co-accused Brian Sim put a pizza box over Mr Lambie's head so they didn't get blood over themselves while they stamped on the poor guy's head. When Porky was told that Peacock had survived the attack, he replied, oh what a pity. Porky has nothing to lose, it was described in court, if allowed the opportunity, he would kill again. Porky was shifted back to HMP Glenoco and again, the jail bigwigs ignored the warnings and he was again sealed up and allowed near fellow prisoners. This would prove fatal for David Ramsey, 30 from Mary Hill. Apparently Porky and Ramsey had got into a dispute over a number of petty things. Porky couldn't let this lie. David Ramsey apparently called him old on more than one occasion when he said he was 50. He took it as disrespectful. On January 9th, 2021, Porky ambushed David Ramsey in his cell while he was lying on his bed and wrapped a rope made out of bed sheets round his neck and choked him till he was nearly unconscious. He then turned him round and tied his hands behind his back with another sheet. Once Ramsey was waking up, he then choked him again until he stopped breathing. Porky was seen on prison CCTV leaving Ramsey's cell and shaking hands of fellow cons, saying that's him off. They'll be moving him again. When asked why, he apparently said he'd just killed that wee prick Ramsey for thinking I'm a dafty cause I'm old. Well, it's just cost him his life. David Ramsey was rushed to the hospital. The staff had managed to resuscitate him, but he was declared brain dead due to lack of oxygen to his brain. He died the next day. James Porky O'Rourke, while stood in front of the judge sentencing him, for David Ramsey's murder was told, You are by some distance the worst criminal I've ever come across in my lifetime. Your record while in prison since 1992 for the murder of Neil Kearney is absolutely appalling. Porky was convicted of murdering David Ramsey at HMP Glenoco and was given another 23 years on top of what he already has to serve. I often wonder, would they allow him near fellow prisoners again? Or are the people that run the jails hoping someone would want to make a name for themselves and take him out? Who knows?